this is Rahman and I'm here to talk a bit more about life purpose. Um, I made a brief video explaining how our general life purpose is to come into contact with our spiritual being, which is our inherent real soul existence, the, that eternal part of us and that is connected to the divine. Um, and there are people who are completely sort of not aware of this self, and there are people who through prayer and meditation are in sporadic contact with this and can feel peaceful at times. And there are people who have learned to totally embody this part of themselves, which is really a wonderful state. Um, now, one thing that can help in addition to embodying your soul, um, you can also think about finding your life purpose in another way, a more sort of logic, um, insight, based, uh, wisdom based approach, which I will explain here. Um, what this approach involves is generally asking questions about your circumstances up into this point. So for example, where were you born? Um, what country, what circumstances, what era, what was happening in the world or the area where you were born. Um, the idea that um, we have this soul is part of a larger plan. Um, we come to, to sort of fulfill some purpose that we thought about prior to incarnating, but we don't always remember. So the important thing is to try to understand what that was and not be distracted by other things, but to get on point about that. Um, so we ask these questions assuming that there was a larger sort of scheme in mind um, when we and, and the creative power of the universe is incarnated into this time-space reality that we're in. So more questions to ask would be, why did we come to the family that we did? Um, some people believe that we have chosen our parents for their specific qualities and traits and professional um, professional, you know, qualifications in order to learn from what they did. Um, some people believe we also come back to balance karma and um, to sort of, to sort of, uh, you know, learn what it's like to be on different sides of, of the giving and receiving spectrum for different actions or qualities. So it's really beautiful to think about all of the relationships in the world around us as part of this big beautiful scheme that we have um, incarnated into and to learn from those circumstances. Um, what friends do we have? You know, why have we chosen those people? What are their qualities? What do they bring to our life purpose? And in, in what ways can they inspire us or help us to fulfill that? Again, with the family, um, what limitations might there have been um, that have made us reach for more and inspired us to become what we are today? What did we study? What kind of education did we receive and why did we um, benefit from that? Because uh, in the bigger picture all of this is a sort of benefit to feed us with new experiences and information to becoming that, that that great self that we have incarnated to become and to doing those wonderful things on this earth that we are meant to do. Um, more questions to ask would be, you know, what political changes are happening, what um, societal growth is happening in the time that you are existing, and what is your feeling? Like, not just your sort of thoughts peripherally, but what you really deeply feel about these things. That can be indicative of what you're here to do, um, what your calling is. So sort of be in touch with what's happening around you and how it affects you. Think about technology and the revolutions that are happening there. How has communication been enhanced, you know, and how are you here to use that or benefit from it or share things uh, through that medium? You know, there's so much um, that's happened in the past 100 years and 
So what is your part to play in that? Um, so that's really sort of a, where, a place to start thinking. Um, more ideas would be, you know, your gender, your race, your professional experiences. Um, like every little thing that has happened, you know, the neighborhood you grew up in, the places you visited and traveled to, why at those times have you done that, the relationships you have, the, the you know, pretty much everything is here to build that soul within you and that experience in order for you to become the radiant being that you are. So think about that and, you know, meditate on it and then, you know, see what insights you might get from that.